Here's a typical transfection workflow. You start off with cells that are very healthy and in mid-log phase growth and should be about at 70% confluent on the day of transfection. The nucleic acid is allowed to complex with the transfection reagent. This generally takes about 15 to 30 minutes depending on the transfection reagent. Then the complex is added to the cell culture. Gene expression can be analyzed then in 18 to 96 hours post-transfection. The time of analysis is going to be dependent upon what you're expressing. Uh, for example, a surface protein may take longer to be, to be able to be detected than a cytoplasmic protein since a surface protein has to travel through the cell before being able to be detected. Also, how you're analyzing will, will affect the optimal time for analysis, and we'll discuss that in detail in a few minutes. Lipid transfection can be used to manipulate the cells to either overexpress a protein via the delivery of plasma DNA or mRNA. And lipid transfection can also be used to, to deliver interfering RNA to knock down the expression of a specific protein. These two technologies can allow for the easy study and elucidation of different pa biological pathways.